welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. All right, we are... First off, you want to say thank yous? For the awesome lamp behind us. You noticed? Yes, I noticed. John has an aesthetic. I and I was afraid that he wouldn't put the lamp where I wanted it. And he didn't. <laughs> where did you want it? Where I had it. But then my fat head would have been in the way. So yeah. I guess fine. But It covers up your baby Blanton's over there. I know. I love my baby Only Blanton's. thing it covers up over here is Rebel Yellow 100. Oh, this <laughs> Awooga. <laughs> um, Why do you keep swearing? I'm sorry. This is meant for kids. Just kidding. It always asks me. And I, it's no. like, no, but don't need to censor me. We don't swear. And then there's you. <laughs> Uh, I swear. <laughs> so what we got going on here? There's three lightly well, colored... I thought we were talking about the lamps. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, first and foremost, check out this badass lamp over here. Michael sent us, and we are yeah, over really the moon cool. about it. It is really awesome. Um, it has a Michter's rye. Um, I, that's one of the like ones it. that John's been like, wanting to try because it has such a great like yeah. review of it so we're excited Mictors to be able doesn't to try come that around eventually. Here very often. No, Mictors is closest we got to is when we walked in the store in Kentucky. Yeah. Um so very, very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank we'll you. We'll have Michael. to link uh what's his name? I don't even know how to say but it. I Boog or Bouge? I don't know. Bouge, Bouge we'll lamps. have to link to his uh his, his Instagram. Instagram, yeah. He's got he makes all kinds of lamps. Yeah. And they're very cute. Very well they're very classy. Yeah. Um, so we're excited to put that in our bar eventually when we get a house. But for now, you guys get to stare at it. So there you have it. Be thankful to Michael to give you a little change of scenery than other John and I's ugly mugs. So I'm beautiful. My mom said I was. Probably eventually she did. I don't know. Maybe at some point. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. No, it's today because so, I'm posting it today. Tomorrow's the day after St. Patrick's Day. We're doing day. this tonight. <laughs> so, happy St. Patrick's yeah. Day. And in that commemoration, we are doing a... going to drink a bunch of whiskey. Si well, that's I what mean, they do. That's what they do. Mm. So, we are Some doing good. a side-by-side-by-side-by-side, baby-by-side, I don't you know. You always do this to me. You always give me four or five plus samples. No. Uh, so, I have picked out a few different samples of Irish whiskeys that we have. So John's going to try them out and let you know what he thinks. All right. We have not really gone deep into some Irishes. Um, I know what the five are, but I have not tried any of the five. Well, I tried one of the five. We do have other ones like Redbush, Jameson IPA, Jameson, Tolamore. We have a couple other ones. We didn't throw those in there. So what we have in this lineup somewhere is Slain, Redbreast 12, Redbreast Red 15, 15, Redbreast Listow, and Jameson Black Barrel. I heard, I watched a review today on the Black Barrel. Uh, it sounded really good, so that's why I saw that pint. I had to pick it up. Okay, fair enough. So John's going to do quick reviews, so we're not a 587 minute long video. Um, he's just going to kind of quickly review them and kind of start moving them around as he sees one better than the next. And then we're going to figure out how we rank them all. Okay. Where do you want me to start? Whatever. I don't care. Start over here. Rebel. Can't start where it's easy. You got to go over to the hard side. So they all have a little maltiness, which I'm sure they're all 100% malt. I'm, I don't know. Irish is almost always 100% malt. I've seen some. I think Jameson's like malt and unmalted. You'll have to do a little research. I got light, dusty wood. So I know Irish whiskeys use second and sometimes third plus use barrels. They mm -hmm. usually use bourbon barrels. Some like double age or 
Finnish in Sherry and West Owl. I don't know what that's finished in. I don't know in. what that is. It has a nice light fruitiness. What is it with them in triple distilling? I don't is know. Is that a thing? It, uh, distilling it more kind of gets rid of some of the nuances and it makes it a cleaner. Bourbon doesn't usually do that. They just do it once. Oh, these are single pot still. Cool it. The red breasts are. Yeah. So the Slain and the Jameson. The Slain is 80 proof. Jameson is 80 proof. And they are both triple cast distilled. Red breast, triple however. Triple cast distilled. Just it... triple distilled. Whatever. Cast no. is what they're stored in. It says this one's triple cast. That one's triple cast. So it's like new oak, oh. bourbon oak. Not bourbon. This is I think why they he's use a smart one. Jack Daniels. This and one says triple sherry. distilled. Yes. Sorry. I'm that one's sorry. Also a black barrel. That's like cool a heavy it. char bourbon barrel. Isn't this the cutest little thing? I'm never going to get in my nose. Keep talking. I'm sorry. Are those all 80 proof too? No. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Insert no. some bottles here. So the 12 years, 80 proof. The Lestau is 92 proof. And so is the 15 year. 92? The 92. And I feel then, like those will be easier to pick up if they're proofier than the rest. Cool it. Proofier. Oof. What movie is that from? Got enough proof? I don't know. I think you're proofing too much on that turtle weed. 50 first days. Jeez. Oh, sorry. So this one has a light sweetness. A little, very light caramel. Maybe even a little honey. It has like a nuttiness to it. A sweet nut. Don't laugh. Um, there's a little perfuminess. Why are you trying not to laugh? I'm not. No, mm -mm. I'm the mature one. Remember? Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely, that's very malty. Uh, it's got a light woodiness. It, it tastes like char. Oh, a little of that honey comes through. There's a very low cinnamon taste that just stays throughout all the way in the back. That's actually pretty good. Interesting. Okay. Some light moving. fruitiness. I'm not really sure. I'm slow at my notes. That's gonna be a long video. You better cool it. My brain doesn't work that fast. You put it into overdrive. So this one's more butterscotchy. Like a butterscotch sucker. I don't know what brand they are. Dum -dum. They're just yellow. They're a circle of yellow. Those are it's like, like a disc. It's like a disc, but it's on a, a stick. It's like a loop stick. You get them at the bank, or you used to when I was a kid. I know what you're talking about. I don't they know. They have like letters on them. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I guess some of that dry wood on there too. I wonder if that's gonna be a theme because that first one had dry wood too. I smell oatmeal, and I taste like. I just got oatmeal when you said that. I don't know if that's you influencing me. Shut up. Sorry, I'll be quiet. It has like a light maple note to it too. Odd. Okay. It smells really good. Oh, that one tastes clean. That one's a little warmer. It has like a, a cooked grain note to it, like a cooked barley. A little spicier. There's a little black pepper in there. It acts like he eats barley all the time. Uh, I do at work. Our burgers are made out of barley. Don't tell Our your trade secrets, John. Veggie burgers. Cool it. There is the finish on both of them are both medium so far. They stick around a little bit, but it's not super long. Okay, is this one better than this one? I don't know. There's a little bit of apple, crisp apple in there. I like that. Is this one better than this one? I don't know. Gotta move them as you go, John. You move them for me. Ooh, that one smells better. I think that one oh, that one better. has honey and maple in it though. Jeez. For me, that one's better. That one has more proof and spice. That one's smooth and sweet. Keep them right there for now. Okay. 
Keep the train moving. John doesn't like it when I hurry him. I'm not trying to hurry him. He's just got five samples and he, he's a tortoise. So this I one has a, nudge. Um, a dustier oak. Okay. It has even like a little dusty corn in it. Fair. Hmm. This one is more unique compared to those two. The barley's in there, but it's way, way muted. Get like a, a peanut shell in there. Which way is this oh, finger? Am I erasing anything? No. Just be careful. <laughs> I got my pinky out. I'm, yeah. I'm fancy. Can we be fancy today, please? Hmm. That one's a lot velvety, velvetier on the mouthfeel. When you were slopping it around, it slopping, whatever. It looks sloshing. like you almost slopped it out. So, what? Oh. It's glass. like, it's very, very oily and very thick. It's nice. So this one, the flavors are a lot more muted, but it is pleasant. Am I going to get palate fatigue by drinking all these back to back? Nah. I feel like I need some water. You'll be fine. What do I get on that? That's... The wood's not as dusty oh, as the smell. It's a little sweet. But it's, it, that one has more vanilla than the others. Mm. It's got a little char in there. There's no spice to it at all. There's no burn to that at all. That is super silky. What are you looking at? It's not a cool head. Oh, I thought you were looking at my cool head. I see enough of that. Though. I need a shave. It's getting itchy. This one has some of that dusty wood too. I wonder. They use. It's none of its first use, so I wonder if all Irishes are consistent with, with the wood. Yeah. Hmm. Has a little bit of a darker nose on this one. Maltiness is pretty muted on this one too, surprisingly. I thought they were all going to be malty. Maybe a dusty grain. Not really. Can't really specify. Grains all kind of smell the same to me. Dried grains. Taste-wise, they all taste different. Smell-wise, they're all similar. I think they all have their own unique smell. Hmm. But, no, that's just me. Ooh, that one's spicy. Mm. That's got black pepper on the tip. Some nice vanilla. A little bit of... Hmm. What Ooh. is that? Ooh. That has some flavors in there. That's got some fruitiness. It's got some woodiness. It's got some fruitiness. It's got some carameliness. It's got some toastiness. Yeah, it's like it's got toast. Toast. It's like toasted. Toasted wheat bread. I don't yeah. know. Is there a malt bread? Do they make bread out of malt? No? I don't know. I'm sure somebody does somewhere. Everybody makes everything nowadays. That one's got a little char in there too. So far, I thought I would be able to pick out any of them out of the bunch. I thought I'd pick out slain. I, I can't pick out anything. Oh, this one's sweeter. This has the sweetest nose on it. I'm telling you right now that I've tried all these and I'm pretty sure that I know which ones are which and... They all taste the same? It not... They, I have a lot of similarities. Three of them are the same brain though, so... Mm -hmm. This has some... Uh, not very barley either. 
Does barley just not have a big taste? I think it's one of the more hushed greens, but I don't think that it's... You know, sometimes I can taste it in like a Canadian or yeah. Irish scotch. First two had major barley on them, but the last three have been very muted. Hmm. Get some caramel, vanilla. Oh, what was that happening? <laughs> my phone was sliding off the leg. Oh. <laughs> and then I just sucked my pop socket in. That wasn't a part. That was a pop socket. That was a pop. My socket. microphone's right there. It's That's gonna pick all job. that up. Sorry. I had a bunch of cabbage today, so you could have just blamed it on me. <laughs> St. Patty Day, Patty's Day overall. Anyway, so I'm, I'm mm. getting... Yeah, you're getting a little time-consuming. Mm. That one's silky, too. Smooth. They're all smooth. That one's sweet. That has the caramel. It has some malt in the taste. Has a little toast in it too. Maybe even like a fruitiness, like a, a melon. Oh, that's probably the smoothest out of all of them. Yeah. I'm putting this one in first. First place? Yes. Okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty, kids. Second. So far. Mm. Oh, that smell, though. Time for okay, money, John. Okay, so my reasoning for the spaces is these are both very close. This one's number one. This one's very, very close, number two. This one's number three. But there's pretty good distance between these two and these two. That one's a clear third. These two are still very good, but they're kind of interchangeable. I wouldn't mind either of those as last, but I wouldn't mind fourth. But that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that in my order. Okay. Fifth place. Oh J Mo. Okay. I still did like this though. Um fourth place, I believe. Yep. Don't tell me that's LaSalle. No. No? Yeah. What? Fourth place in LaSalle. Wow. Third place. It's 15. 15? Second place. Seriously. It's 12. First place. Slain. I like Slain better than all those. Yeah. So there is going to be some days where I'm going to prefer this one. Oh, we're slain? That's the 12 year, really. Oh. You got a whole book about these? I got a whole book. Look at me finding stuff. So I did like slain to begin with. Uh, I didn't think that would come out on first. What's slain finished in? Is it sherry? Yeah, I believe so. So it's virgin oak, seasoned oak, and sherried oak. 80 proof. Pretty sure they use Jack Daniels barrels too. They are owned by Brown Foreman. Mm -hmm. I'm not super surprised because I do like Slain to begin with. I just didn't think it'd beat out all these. You got any mm -hmm. info on any of these? I don't have any info. It just kind of tells me the basics of them, but this is pretty cool. I'm real happy with this purchase. Thank you. Probably gonna go buy another one so that you don't drink it. So slain. So slain. It says that it is an Irish single malt and an Irish grain whiskey. So it's a single malt whiskey and an Irish grain whiskey. Blended. Blended. I know they do source. They're they're making their own, but they're so new that it hasn't hit the bottles yet. Maybe um, even a little bit might be mixed in virgin oak x sherry seasoned barrels which would be x jack and x old forester barrels which is interesting um i do like that one red breast is 
Where did it go? 50% malted barley, 50% unmalted barley. So they're typical Irish. Hmm. Irish has to be composed of at least 30% malted or unmalted barley. So fair enough. Sticking with my my order so far. So what is La Stau? Is that finished? Yes. Um, you know, in what? Let me see. Let me get out my handy dandy pamphlet. The newest addition to our family experience, our signature sherry taste amplified and expanded thanks to a final year finished in the finest sherry butts. So that's like the, the head of the barrels. Oh. The top and the bottom. From the prestigious Bodegas Le Stau. I probably slaughtered that and I'm sorry. Hmm. So it's the same as their sherry finish. It's just, this is their sherry finish, but then it's also finished. Look at, guys, these pictures. This little, little booklet, and it's just beautiful. I'm going to Ireland. Bye. You know, I thought 20 bucks for that little pack was expensive, but it's pretty cool. But he bought it for me anyway. Mm-hmm. Because he loves me. Mainly for this video. It wasn't for you. The one I go buy sometime this week for the second one to display that one's gonna be for me any thoughts anything else you want to add john oh that one's spicier that's the higher proof one lusto lusto yes, and the other one are 15. so i don't get the proof as much on the 15 but the lusto i do these are middleton too all of them yeah so Middleton is also where Jameson comes from. So we're going to put a note if we know for sure that's where they're both from. So these look like they're Middleton and this looks like it's Brown Foreman. In which it does not surprise me the order then because I love everything Brown Foreman. True. And after tasting and palate cleansing. Yippee. Mm. I would say this one is clear last. This one and this one, no, this one and this one could be interchangeable. This one's close. So in my original thing, I thought I said that those were so those pretty ones interchangeable, are interchangeable, but I think but these ones, ones are more are... interchangeable. This one's my standout favorite. It has flavors that I love on that. I might put red breast above what's this one 15 but i really actually like the 12 better that's surprising i really gotta go get that cast strength now yeah that was what 85 bucks and i passed that's a little high we don't see it we don't see it though i gotta go get my other i got set, like an irish so... hug going on oh i gave you an irish hug i'm not irish sorry camp anything There's else an you irish hug called uh acid reflux that's Cause I feel it. John, don't be mean. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.